hello friends welcome to salesforce troop and in today's video we'll talk about a very cool feature introduced in spring 23 that is refs refs is a way by which we can query a dom element and to try this feature you need a spring 23 org and you can use this form to get the org access i'll share this link in the video description so now once your org is ready and let's go to our vs code so now i'm in my vs code where uh, i already created a new project with the name spring 23 and here we're gonna create a new lightning web component and just make sure you connect your vs code to your spring 23 org so i already connected that to spring 23 org let's create a new lightning web component and i'll give this name reps demo and hit enter and now my component has been created let's go to the html let's create the lightning card give the title and title is reps demo so we are just creating a structure so that our component looks little good i'll put some padding around it so i'll say slds where padding around medium and i'm giving a padding so that my content not touch the border of the card okay now here we will create some input fields let's create an input field lightning input and i'll give a label that's a name field then I'll take another input field and I'll say age and I'll change this type to number just for a different flavor and we can create a button as well and here we can give this button as label submit so basically we have created a small form uh, which has two input field and one button and you can give some class to this button slds where margin top medium that's it so now our card is created uh, card is ready with two input and one button js is still empty and let's expose this to true and we can add the targets targets is depend on where you want to place so i'll put all three targets lighting app page record page and home page and let's deploy this component first so the component is deployed let's go to our org and i already created a separate lightning page for this spring 23 features so let's Click on the gear icon edit the page and now we're gonna place our component to this page if your component is deployed you can see under the custom your component name let's drag that component to the first section and hit save and once it's saved let's go back so now our form is ready and let's talk about ref now okay so as i mentioned uh, ref is a way by which we can query a dom element what is dom a document object model every component sits on a dom so if i need a reference of a name field or a age field right so till now we were using this dot template dot query selector now we have a better way called refs so let's see how we can get the reference of the element let's go to our vs code let's go to the html and first we need to add the directive and the directive name is lwc lwc colon ref that's the directive and here should be your unique reference name like we use id right id has a unique name for all the id similarly for all the refs it's always good to give a different name so i'll say this is a name reference this name can be anything okay similarly i'll create another ref field to get the age reference and we can create 
or button as well if we need that but uh, i don't think we need button reference but that's okay and first we already added our reference now let's see how to use that and to use that let's add an on click handler to our button and we'll say submit handler and let's create that method now my scenario is when i click on submit i need to know the value that i have entered on these two fields so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna use refs and to access the ref we will say or to call the reference basically we'll say this dot refs so we are saying go to the references which reference reference name we have to define so i'll say go to name reference so this will give me a reference to this element right and similarly if i'll say go to age reference so that will give me an age field reference and let's store that into a variable we'll say const name name value and we'll say const age well so right now we are getting the reference of our input field name so if i want to extract a value out of it i'll say dot value similarly if i want to extract a value from age i'll say dot value so basically this is equivalent to even dot target so similarly you can extract any property like dot value dot name anything okay so it's because we are getting a dom reference now let's print that and see whether we are getting the value or not so i'll say name value print here and age value print here and let's deploy this now it's deployed let's go and refresh the page as uh, we are going to print the value let's open the inspect go to console clear the console let me zoom it so i'll type proof and the age is 23 and as soon as i hit submit it will call the submit handler and it will go to the reference and say okay i need to go to name reference and from there i need to pick up the value and similarly for age so i'm entering troop and 23 and click of submit it didn't print let me debug quickly it seems like it didn't refresh so let's do a right click on the refresh icon empty cache and hard reload let's clear the console now let's type again group age 23 and hit submit and now you can see it's printing the value that we have entered so it's successfully able to get the reference of the element and if you want to see what exactly it return what we can do is we can print directly these reference let's print only name reference and i can see that submit button is margin is not working so to work that we'll say slds grid space let's deploy this it's deployed now let's come back and refresh the page and now if i enter group and 56 and hit submit let's see what this ref dot name ref print and you can see that it's printing the complete dom reference so the lightning input and that lightning input is nothing it's done name field that we have printed if i hover over here you can see on the top it's highlighting that name field so basically you are getting a dom reference and that's how our ref properties work or ref directory works now let's look at the another use case so this use case is to get the value from the dom now the another use case is to set the value on the dom 
so now what i want is i'll create another field on html and i'll give this name as i'll enter here and we'll wrap this as well i'll create a new element here and i'll find a reference here and i'll say response ref so whatever the value we are entering i just want to print those values here so what we're gonna do is we'll say first we'll get the reference so we'll say go to refs find the response ref and inside this response ref do a inner html basically we are going to put some html inside that div so here i want a a p tag inside it with some text and some dynamic values i'll create a p tag here i'll say submitted value a submitted name is and i'll print the name value and age is and then i'll print the age now this time we are assigning from javascript to html earlier we have seen how to fetch the value from html to javascript so let's deploy this and see if it works let's go and refresh the page again let's type the name again group 34 share the console and submit and now you can see it's printing submitted name is troop and age is 34 if i highlight and hover over this element you can see the p tag has been attached to the dom so we have attached the html on the dom now that was a second use case now the third question that you might have in your mind like what will happen if two same references exist so let's try that out I'll create another age field. So I'll say new age. It's the number, and let's keep the both reference as the same. And let's see after deploying what age value will print here. Okay. So let's do our deployment. Now it's deployed. Let's go and refresh the page. I'll type true. And in the first age, I'm passing 10, and second new age, I'm passing 20. Let's go to console, clear the console. Now, when I hit submit, there are two references with, with name a age reference. So let's see what it prints. Now you can see it picked up the last one. So when there is a duplicate LWC ref directive, the ref reference the last directive. So I can put that comment here just for our reference and I'll comment this out. If the template contain duplicate LWC ref directive, this dot ref reference the last directive. So that's another learning from this. And now the final question that you might have when to use this dot query selector because query selector do the same thing here the selector name will come versus refs right now to answer this the benefit of using ref is that you have a unique reference to that specific element within your component when you use Talk, uh, a query selector you are selecting any element in the entire page that matches the class basically ref is more performance efficient because in query selector you always define a selector like i'll say dot some class name i'll say class name is hello right so how this works is this dot template dot query selector exact this is the exact syntax now what will happen it will go to the complete html and look for all the classes one by one by one and wherever it match first it returns that but in refs it just look for the references directly it will not go through all the html and that's where it's 
is more performance efficient and that's why lwc has come up with the ref directive so that's all about this refs and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video